Hey guys, so recently on my channel someone requested for a 1 to 99 range guide so I thought that today would be a really good day to update you guys on your 1 to 99 range. So today I'm using EOC to level up range and I'm just going to go through the basics first. So first of all I'm going to show you the abilities. Hopefully you know exactly what abilities it are but all you have to do is go to this three stars spinning in a circle and then click on this one, the ranged abilities. This will open up a window similar to this one and here we have all the abilities where all you gotta do is just add them to your ability bar and this will pretty much allow you to use abilities for your benefit. So for example, starting off at these levels, you can see that um, there is obviously some requirements of some of them. Piercing shot, snapshot, no requirements. Then as you get higher, you do require some levels and it goes up to around level 85 that's the highest ability you can get but you won't be using some of these for ages but some of the most useful ones are low leveled so some of them at around level 12 are very useful so as you level up start using them and you will find them really helpful so getting 99 range with this guide will take you around 60 hours and will only cost you anything from 3 to 5 million that is if you do not pick up any drops. If you do pick up some drops, you will pretty much make all your money back or you might even make profit from this. So this is just the equipment, the the cost of pretty much training range is about three to five million, million which is really cheap. Okay, so we've now talked about abilities and how much it's gonna cost, so let's get started. So from level one to 10, you're gonna be wearing leather and you're gonna be using bronze offhand and main hand crossbow with bronze bolts. This will cost you very little money and you're gonna be training near the chickens near Lumbridge. I will show you on the map real quick, just so you know exactly where it is. Here is where we are and here is Lumbridge. Just travel to the same location and you pretty much start to train range on these chickens. They have 50 life points and honestly they're so fast to kill and the experience you get is pretty amazing. Um, don't forget also that you can pick up the feathers where you do get, and I will show you real quick, if you pick up the feathers, you price check it. It pretty much pays for your bolt. So in case you need money back, you can do this to get your money back, but it's really up to you. It will take you anything from five to 10 minutes to level up here. So once you reach level 10 until level 20, the only changes you're gonna really make to the whole thing is you're gonna be now wearing an iron crossbow, main hand and off hand, and you're gonna be using iron bolts, and also you're gonna be changing your body to a hard leather body. This will pretty much mean that you get faster kills and you're protected a little bit better, um, and pretty much you're gonna be training in the same spot. Chickens are really fast experience, especially for the first 20 levels or so, so there's no reason why you shouldn't be killing these. As you can see, I'm killing them so fast, and you have to kill from levels 1 to 20, 136 chickens. Which honestly, 136 chickens is really fast. And to get from levels 10 to level 20, you have to kill 101 chickens. And this will take you 10 to 15 minutes, which is actually really, really fast. So you will get your first 20 levels in range in just 20 to 25 minutes or so. So that's really decent. So as I've said already, the only things that change is the crossbows, they change to iron and the bolts, those change to iron and the hard leather body changes from just a normal leather body. So once you've done that, we'll now move on to another spot, which will hopefully get you levels faster. From levels 20 until levels 30, we're gonna be wearing studded leather, which is body chaps and for gloves, you can just use leather gloves or any other gloves that you wish to use. Um, and we're gonna be wearing Willow Shield Bow or Willow Short Bow. I'll zoom in so you can see it, hopefully you can see it. And we're gonna be using Steel Arrows. For this next method, you require a Brass Key, and we're gonna be training slightly southwest of the Grand Exchange. So here's the Grand Exchange, and here is where we will be training. And all you gotta do is, with your Brass Key, open this door here, and you go down, and you go down the ladder once again. And once you're there, you're pretty much gonna be killing the hill giants. These hill giants are quite easy to kill and there's so many safe spots you can use to attack these hill giants. 
So this is a pretty safe method to use. Don't forget also you have now new abilities for you to use so don't forget to use your abilities etc etc and you're going to have to do this for around 20 to 30 minutes and you're going to have to kill a total of 59 hill giants which will take you around 30 seconds per kill which honestly isn't that bad. Once you've done that you, you will get a bit of profit from the drops of course. Don't forget to pick up your arrows because that's where your money will be spent etc etc. But once you reach level 30 you move on to another location. From level 30 into level 40 you're going to be using now snake skin armor and you're now going to be also using a maple short bow. Don't forget also that now you can use mythical arrows so you're going to be using those all together and you're going to be traveling to the yaks. Don't forget also for this uh, method you require the Fremenic Trials quest completed and all you got to do is travel to Relica, go to this northern port and you're going to take a boat to Nate's Knot. Here we are, travel to Nate's Knot and the yaks will be pretty much directly you arrive. There is a bank in the city where if you need more food, more anything like that, you can just do it. You can go straight to the bank, get more food and keep training on this method. You'll need to kill a total of 265 yaks, which will take you anything from one hour and a half to around two hours to do so. But each time you level up now, getting the levels will take longer time. But this method is really easy. Don't forget also, now that you have more abilities with you, you can now use different abilities like rapid fire, more abilities like that that will speed up this method greatly. So don't forget to use that. Also, before I forget, don't forget that they do drop yak hides, etc, etc. So if you price check them, because I know that getting up skills may be a bit expensive, but here you go, every single kill you get 550 coins, which means that you can actually make a bit of profit on this to make money back on your arrows, etc, etc. So it's really up to you. Once you reach level 40, all the way until level 50, you're going to be traveling to the Karamja Volcano. It's right here, it's pretty much near Port Savin, Brunhaven, etc, etc. And today for this method you're going to be using green dragon hide bodies with a U shield bow or U short bow with adamant arrows. You're going to be killing the Karamja spiders and all you got to do is just travel under the mountain or the volcano and once you're there you're going to head to the northwest. Here you'll be able to find some spiders which we're going to be killing for this method. These spiders are really good experience. You will get your levels up in about one hour to one hour and a half which to get 10 levels up in an hour and an hour and a half is really decent. You're going to have to kill 128 spiders and don't forget also that as your levels go up you can now use more abilities. There will be more abilities for you to use which will be a great benefit towards you so don't forget that. Each spider you kill will give you around 500 to around 600 experience which will mean that your levels will go up so fast and it will be really helpful to you but the only problem is, is that they have really good defense which is the only thing that kind of sucks. As you see, just got 530 experience, which is pretty decent, which means you will be getting your levels up super duper fast. Once you reach level 50, you'll now be able to wear an Avers Accumulator, which pretty much means every single arrow you shoot, the Avers Accumulator will pick it up for you. You require level 50 range to start the quest Animal Magnetism, and once you complete the quest, this will be given to you as a reward. And it's honestly, it's a really good way of saving money. So I strongly recommend you do this quest because you will save so much money if you do this. Because it, and it also means you don't have to pick up your arrows, which is pretty decent. But once you reach level 50, let's move on to the next method. Okay, so once again, we're going to be killing the same spiders. But this time we're going to be wearing blue dragon hide body, legs and gloves, etc. But this time I'm going to be using a magic short bow or long bow with rune arrows. Once again you're just going to climb down that same mountain from the last method also and you're going to make yourself to the spiders there and you're just going to be killing the spiders once again which is honestly is the fastest way to do this. It'll take you around one hour and a half to two hours to get from levels 50 to 60 and you're going to have to kill 344 spiders to get all the way into level 60 but honestly it is quite a lot of experience you have to get and it is a reasonable amount of time 
but honestly you will be able to do it in around one hour and a half to two hours which honestly is really decent once you hit level 60 all the way into level 70 you're going to be wearing black dragon hide armor with elder short bow or long bow using dragon arrows and we're going to be training in Tavali dungeon so all you got to do is travel to Tavali head a little bit south where we are right now so here's a Tavali lodestone and here's where we are and all you got to do is just enter the dungeon climb down the steps and once you're downstairs you can either use a shortcut but requires 70 agility and we're going to be training with the blue dragons the best thing to do with this method is to keep yourself protected and kind of use a safe spot now just in case I will show you on the map real quick in case you haven't got level 70 we entered here and all you've got to do is travel all the way around and go all the way around climb across this bridge and here is the entrance this red dot here and as long as you have a dusty key now in case you don't have one just google search it dusty key runescape and you'll be able to find out how to get one and just enter this room and you'll be inside the blue dragons that's in case you don't have level 70 agility but once you're here, all you gotta do is just safe spot them and this will be a perfect way to get your levels up. Make sure to safe spot them because honestly you don't wanna get you know, bitten by their dragon fire. So just keep that in mind. You will have to do this for a total of 1,288 dragons and this will take you around seven hours. So just looking at my notes, it will take you seven hours to do so. But this method is amazing because they do drop blue dragon hides and also dragon bones. So that's a really good method or a really good reason to be doing this method. But besides that, this is a perfect way to get up your level. For the next method from level 70 until level 80, we're gonna be wearing royal dragon hide armor. Now you can stick with your elder shield bow or short bow, but if you want, you can change to a black salamander with Havalanda Tur. Um, pretty much all you got to do for this method is we're going to be killing mature grot worms. All you got to do is just travel to the white knight camp which is just slightly northwest of the port Sarim lodestone. Enter the cave and then head west or well now head southwest. And you will find that there is a shortcut to go downstairs. Use the shortcut and you will find that the mature grot worms are right there. Just right click, slide down, and you'll be right at the place where we're gonna be training today. And this is a good location because it does mean that you can use pretty much like, well, you can use the bank to travel here back and forth very fast. For this method, you're gonna to have to kill 1,188 mature grot worms to get from levels 70 until levels 80. And this will take you anything from seven to eight hours, but it is a pretty decent and pretty fast method to use, especially with Elder Shield Bow, etc, etc. But you will find that this method is really fast and you will make a bit of money from it. So making money from this method is pretty decent at the same time, but it's really up to you. You can stick to the other method in case you feel more comfortable doing it. But this is a really good method to be using, but it's really up to you. In case you feel like you want to do Slayer, by the way, you can do Slayer if you want to because I know that many people would prefer to do Slayer instead of training a method without getting Slayer experience. And it does also mean that at the same time you are getting up Slayer, but it's really up to you and what you decide to do. Once you reach level 80, all the way to level 99, you're gonna be killing Water Fiends. For this, you can stick with your Royal Dragon Hide body, um, but if you want, you can move on to Armadil, or if you have Death Lotus, use Death Lotus along the way until you're level 99. Um, but you should be using either royal crossbows or Celtic crossbows and it's up to you. At level 80 you can use royal bolts but once you reach level 90 you can use ascension bolts. They're both the same price-ish but ascension bolts are faster to use and water fiends are weak to range so it's a good idea to be using crossbows for this method. This method has been known to reach anything from around 350 to around 400k experience per hour. Use the favoring code BJQ, but the only problem with this method is most likely it's crowded all the time, and yes, it is crowded. Um, but if you want, you can, and or you should, travel a few worlds to kind of figure out a good way 
of kind of getting a world that is empty. As you can see, the experience is insane. You just got 1,000-ish experience. It will take you anything from around 36 to 40 hours to get from levels 80 to levels 99. And also a good thing is make sure to bring a charming imp. They do job thousands of Queenstorm charms. And honestly, this method is one of the best ones to use because they are weak to bolts, as I've said already. Um, so that's why this method is pretty insane. So thanks guys for watching. Any questions, just post below. Getting from levels 1 to 99 will take you around 60 hours and will cost you around 3.5 million. But picking up drops means that you make profit along the way. So thanks guys for watching. Any questions, post below and I will make sure I read them. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Peace out.